is the Writer's Almanac for Monday. It's the 25th of April, 2022. It's the birthday of the poet Ted Couser, born Ames, Iowa, 1939, earned his living working in the insurance industry, rose early every morning so he could write poetry for an hour and a half. Today, the First Lady of Song was born Ella Fitzgerald, Newport News, Virginia, 1917. Got her start at Amateur Night at the Apollo Theater in Harlem. She was 17. She was going to dance, but there was a pretty good dancing act right before her, so she decided to sing instead. It was on this day, 1928, Buddy, the first seeing-eye dog, was presented to Morris S. Frank, who had lost the use of his eyes. He'd been using a young boy as a guide, but the boy got bored easily. So, 19 years old, Mr. Frank contacted a woman in Germany who was training dogs to be guides for World War I veterans who'd been blinded on the battlefield by mustard gas, and Buddy was shipped over to the United States to become Mr. Frank's companion. It's the birthday of Oliver Cromwell, born in Huntingdonshire, England, 1599. He led the Puritan side in the English Civil War, which led to the beheading of King Charles I in 1649. And Cromwell became Lord Protector of the Commonwealth of England, Scotland, and Ireland. He was an outspoken Puritan created the Blue Laws in England, which prohibited swearing, drunkenness, adultery, and blasphemy. And it was on this date in 1831, the New York and Harlem Railroad Company was founded. First line opened the year after, ran for a mile along the Bowery from Prince Street to 14th Street, later extended into Harlem. Horses pulling streetcars. Now the route is part of the Metro North commuter rail system's Harlem line. Here's a poem for today by Alan Bass, entitled, Sleeping Next to the Man on the Plain. I'm not well, neither is he. Periodically, he pulls out a handkerchief and blows his nose. I worry about germs, but appreciate how he shares the armrest, especially considering his size too large to lay the tray over his lap. His seat belt barely buckles. At least he doesn't have to ask for an extender, for which I imagine him grateful. Our upper arms press against each other like apricots growing from the same node. My arm is warm where his touches it. I close my eyes. In the chilly oxygen-poor air. I am glad to be close to his breathing mass. We want our own species. We want to lie down next to our own kind. Even here in this metal encumbrance hurtling improbably 30,000 feet above the earth, with all this civilization down to the chicken or lasagna in their environmentally incorrect packets, even as the woman behind me is swiping her credit card on the phone embedded in my headrest, and the folks in first are watching their individual movies on personal screens. I lean into the stranger, seeking primitive comfort, heat, touch, breath, as we slip into the ancient vulnerability of sleep. Sleeping Next to the Man on the Plain by Ellen Bass from Mules of Love, published by Boa Editions and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.